Today we'll look at how to wrap text around images in the Affinity programs. You can start with text in an image like this and make it look like this. Now this is a situation where Affinity Publisher really shines above Affinity Designer and Photo. With Publisher, we can achieve this effect with one click. I'll show you how to do that, then we'll look at manual methods in Affinity Designer and Photo. So I'm here in Affinity Designer, and I'm starting here because I want to remind you of a really cool feature that allows you to quickly swap between these three apps. First, let me add the objects I want to work with in this example. So I'll go to File, Place, and I'll place the portrait here. I'll place this image. It's a transparent PNG, and that will be needed for this text wrap method to work. Now let me add some text. So I'll select the Frame Text tool here. Just right-click on this area if you don't see it. It might be Artistic Text. You can select Frame Text. And now I'll click and drag a rectangle here. Now a cool feature about the Frame Text is that you can auto-generate filler text. So I'll just right-click on it, and I'll say Insert Filler Text. And this is good for just examples and testing things out. Now what I'd like to do is take my image and move it and have the text dynamically wrap around it. This doesn't work by default in Affinity Designer, but it works really easily in Affinity Publisher. And if you have Affinity Publisher installed, you can switch to it very quickly. I'll select File, Edit and Publisher, and now Affinity Publisher is opening, and my project is open there. So I'll take my image, I'll move it over. It's still not affecting the text, but now what I can do is click this button up here, Show Text Wrap Settings. So I'll click that, and I can choose among these options. I think the most interesting one is tight, so if I click that, now you can see our text is dynamically wrapping around the image. And there are other options here that you can experiment with. There's a square option, jump, but I'll just use tight for this video, so I'll select that, and I'll click close. Now if I take my portrait and drag it, notice how the text is dynamically changing around it. This even works if we have multiple columns for our text. So I'll select my frame text here. Over here I'll choose columns, and I'll increase it to two. And if I move my picture here, it still dynamically changes. And this columns feature is just in Affinity Publisher. Now sometimes you may notice text going into nooks and crannies where you don't really want it to. For example, here in the hair, maybe it's too small an area and I don't want that text to actually appear there. With your image selected, you can click this button here, Edit Wrap Outline. So I'll click that, and now you can see the dots that control where the text flows. So if I zoom in here, I could take these dots, select them, and I could drag them up, and now the text won't appear there anymore. You can see it's wrapping over here now. If you ever want to reset that box, you can select your image again, click this Reset Wrap Outline, and then it's back to normal. Now one thing I think helps text like this fit better is to change the paragraph options. So I'll select my text box here, and then you can try Justify Left. That'll make it more even. You can also change the alignment and the spacing here. So you can play with it to make it look like you want. I'll go back to Align Left here. Now if you like, you can go back to Affinity Designer. So I'll select File, Edit and Designer, and I'm back here. Now, even though we can't initially create this effect in Affinity Designer, we can edit it after we've created it in Publisher. So I can still select my image and move it around, and it will wrap the text. I can resize the image. So it's very flexible in that way. But I don't have the ability to change the outline shape and the columns. So Affinity Publisher is the easiest way to create this effect. But what if you just have Affinity Designer or just Affinity Photo? Well, you can create this effect manually, but it does have some drawbacks. Let's first look at how you can do it. First, I'll draw a rectangle. This will hold my text. Then I'll convert it to curves. I'll click this button up here, Convert to Curves. And now I want to convert it to a text frame. So I'll say Layer, Convert to Text Frame. And this will allow me to put text in here. I've opened up this article on Wikipedia. Let me just copy and paste some text. And I'll paste it in my text frame. And you can format as you like. If there's too many spaces, you can get rid of them. I think there is pretty good. Now let me place the image of my person. File, Place. I'll select the person. I recommend putting her under your text so you can see it. Now with my text layer selected, I can click the node tool here. That's the white arrow, so I'll click this. And then if I hover over the edge of my box here of the text, you can see that little curly icon. That means I can place a node, so I'll click there. And I have a node placed there, and I can manually move the edge of my box. So I'll put it there, but I'll click again down here, and I'll drag this over here. And what I can do is I can keep clicking and dragging out like this. And we're just going to manually trace the edge of our image. So I'll keep continuing down here. And we can keep going like so. So this is the manual method. Keep in mind that this approach will not dynamically change. So if I select my portrait here, if I move this around, I'll have to go back and manually change the outline. But if you're not going to move things around, this is a perfectly good way to achieve this effect. 
If there's anything you'd like to see a tutorial on, let me know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.